Hello everyone, we are live for the Federated Auto Parts 100 here from Watkins Glen. It's the NSDCA Dr. Pepper Dash Series. I am Ash Jacobson, great to have you along with us here for this 9 lap event. 25 cars around this upstate New York road course, and let's take a look through your starting grid. On pole is the double zero of Kyle Basaglia, and to his outside is the 47 of William Duncan. Row 2 sees Mason Ramsey next to Mac Johnson, and Row 3 is the Italian Stallion, Matty Porta, and the 20 next to Joseph Srigley in the 18 for Silver Wolf. Row 4 sees Brett Sierra and Felix Jansen, and rounding at the top 10 is the 48 of Zach Rogers and the 9 of Dwayne Rockefeller. Row 6 is KT Larson next to Mitchell Carter, and Row 7 is the 60 of KC Mears and the 79 of Daniel Elliott. And then behind them, it's Brand, Brandon Beal and Danny Lloyd, followed by the 62 of Alex Parker and the 1 of Gunnar Matheson, followed by Tristan Wilholt and Luke Evans, and the 87 of Charles Sandfer and the 61 of Adam Mitchell. F behind them, it's Ryan Reed and Ricky Freeman Jr., and rounding out the field is the 10 of Joe Rutkowski. So, we have 9 laps Drivers. ahead of us. And we're going to go green here in about a minute. Have 25 cars. And it's going to be Kyle Basaglia and William Duncan leading them to green. 55 seconds here. So sit back and grab a drink or some popcorn. Because we're going to get ready to go racing here at Thunder Road. We are back here from Thunder Road or Watkins Glen. The cars are rolling here as we're getting ready for the Federated Auto Parts 100. It's the martini colors of um, Kyle Basagli going to lead them to green. No mechanical issues. All 25 cars are going to make the start. Heading off of the final corner. And heading down into turn one, it's a good start for Basagli. He gets up into the early race lead contact there between him and outside pole sitter William Duncan. As they head up through, yes, as Duncan looks like he's going to have the run here. And William Duncan trying to go for the race lead on Basagli. But Basagli is holding his own as Mason Ramsey sits in third. Looks like everyone's made it through. Cleanly, Joe Rutkowski already falling off as William Duncan on the outside. He goes through the grass a bit, and the double zero of Basaglis slides wide. He takes to the grass. It is William Duncan up to the race lead, but Mason Ramsey's now all over him as Joseph Srigley is up to third. Basaglia drops from the lead to fourth here in the matter of one corner as Duncan and the double zero shoved him. Duncan shoved the double zero wide as Ramsey looked to maybe make a move, but Duncan holds him off. It's now the double zero under attack from the 27 of Matt Johnson in the Walmart colors. Ever since getting knocked wide there in the bus stop, this double zero Atkins car has really started to drop down the grid. As we look up to the front, William Duncan has the race lead, but chasing him is that 17 of Mason Ramsey. Heading up through the S's, Ramsey maybe looking on the side too far back. Heading toward the bus stop, it is all single file all through the field. No contact this time through, Duncan holds the lead as the entire field looks to go single file here. Joe Rutkowski currently sits last. As car down pit road, that is the two of Brett Sierra reporting a tire down. That will put him well down the grid. Probably even a lap down as here comes William Duncan through the final corner. As 
Ramsey now under attack from Joseph Swrigley driving that number 18 for Silver Wolf Racing. As a bit of contact in, there's contact into the wall. Someone here in the mid pack and they're limping is the seven of Brandon Beal. I think he made contact with the um, 60 of Casey Mears, one of the red cars and there is damage on that number seven. No caution as you see there, Brett Sierra getting back out onto the racing surface as Beal's probably gonna have a word or two with uh, that was either Mears or is the 79 and Daniel Elliott either one as he got squeezed into the wall exiting the final corner as now Luke Evans in the 89 is gonna make a move on him as there's a bit of gra a bit of dirt kicked up as some cars running wide through the bus stop as now uh Basaglia going to look for third back on Joseph Swrigley. He lost third on lap one. As you can see, William Duncan has really gapped to the field. As Swrigley gets back by, Swrigley clears Basaglia. He's going to keep third. And Ramsey's really starting to fall off of Duncan, and Ramsey slides wide. Ramsey into the wall here, heading out of the final corner. He slid wide, looked like driver error on the 17, and now that's going to open the door for... Um, Basaglia and Mac Johnson. Johnson's gonna go aggressive three wide for third. Contact is Johnson to the deep inside as William Duncan has just driven off. He is yawning at 37. It does not look like he's gonna relinquish this as now we're gonna have a good battle here between the double zero and the 18 as Johnson falls uh, back to fifth behind that is the 20 of Matty Porta. As Basagli and Sirigli side by side for third, a bit of contact heading into the bus stop, Sirigli through the grass as he's going to come back out and it looks like that Basagli can't actually get the run and Sirigli is going to try to ring it around the outside but side by side still. As Porter now lurking in fourth, as you can see William Duncan just at the edge of your screen. Mason Ramsey with that damage, he manages to hold on to second as Sirigli Holds on, Porter tried to move there on um, the double zero of the Saglia that did not really work out. As they head through the final corner here. Two incidents already. Of course, Brandon Beal getting squeezed into the wall and then Mason Ramsey running it wide. But look at how much of a lead William Duncan has put on this field. Three seconds currently over Mason Ramsey. I think that conceivably uh, some of these cars could have caught Ramsey there and maybe the lead would have been less but Ramsey's actually now holding his own as Srigley's fallen off a bit of that 17. Cal Basagli currently sits fourth and Matty Porter rounds out the top five. As it looks like that Srigley's inching ever so closer to that damaged um, 17 of Mason Ramsey looking to maybe take the runners up position away. But one thing's for certain, William Duncan has taken away and he is not looking back. That hungry, hungry Jack number 47 Pontiac, he, would, he loves to see everyone in his rearview mirrors and quite far back as you see there's just Mason Ramsey. As coming to four laps to go here in this short event, William Duncan is your race leader by 3.17 seconds over Mason Ramsey. Ramsey has trouble a bit further up the road though as that heavily damaged side from uh, hitting the inside hitting the wall exiting the final corner he has the silver wolf wolf 18 uh, meta runner Pontiac behind him of Joseph Swrigley and then Kyle Basaglia and Matty Porter as Porter looks like he's going to come under attack from Matt Johnson Johnson lost fifth to Porter uh, when he tried a three wide move heading into turn one and ran the corner deep but now the um, 27 is looking for a move on the 20 as further up the road, Srigley tried to move on Ramsey. He's really closed back up to that 17 car. As Joseph Srigley trying to make this a Pontiac 1-2 here as Mac Johnson is also tucked in right behind Matty Porter. Uh, the 17 going to force the 18 to the outside, but it switches back to the inside. Joseph Srigley running will, really wide. But it's gonna the advantage is it gonna swim back swing back to him. 
Ramsey running a bit wide. Strigler's going to get the good run. William Duncan takes three to go. He's loving to see this action in his rearview mirror because that means that they can't chase after him. Strigley outbreaking Ramsey and Joseph Strigley is up into second. It's a Pontiac 1-2 here at Watkins Glen as Matty Porter viciously defending Mac Johnson. Porter and Johnson going at it here. Uh, Matty Porter so far in the Sauber 20 holding off Mac Johnson in his cell phone 27 a bit further up the road. Kyle Basagler looks like he's closing in on the damage car of Mason Ramsey. Is the 17 going to start dropping down the order with all of this damage? As they head through the bus stop, no major moves except for of the, the 9 there. Dwayne Rockenfeller making some moves moving up. Here's the 65 of Mitchell Carter with the 68 of Danny Lloyd behind him. Zach Rogers in the 48 also in the picture. As looking up the grid, Ramsey and Basagli going at it for third. As Ramsey going to hold him off for now. And Basagli is going to come possibly under attack here from Matty Porta. The 20, the Italian Stallion looking to make a move here on Kyle Basagli, the pole sitter here front, who's dropped down to fourth. Two laps to go for William Duncan. The gap is nearly four seconds to Joseph Srigley. Unless something happens to that, uh, to that 47, I think it's safe to say that he'll be able to drive away with this one. As they head up through the S's, Mason Ramsey sitting in third. Basaglia, Porta, Johnson, all catching him. As heading into the bus stop, uh, the, zero, the double zero sent wide again, shades of the first lap. As Porter now alongside him, and Matty Porter is going to go through up into fourth. Sorry, third. Yeah, fourth. Uh, Matty Porter up to fourth in the 20 for Sauber Racing Team. As now, um, Basagla is going to come under attack from the 27 of Mac Johnson. He blocks. As now, also in this picture, is the five of Felix Jansen. The Saglia is dropping like a rock as up ahead you see the white flag is in the air. William Duncan four seconds out on Joseph Strigley. It's been a dominant showing from the driver of that Hungry Jack 47 Pontiac so far here at the Glen. But all the action is further back. Here at the edge of this top 10, Kyle Basagli trying to hold on to this to a top 5 finish for Adkins Racing. He started on pole, but he's been dropping back significantly as Mac Johnson now on his tail. Heading into the bus stop. No moves are being made as we look back up to the front to see the 47 of William Duncan heading down the straightaway. He has two more corners to negotiate. There's one. No issues on the 47. It looks like it's going to be a surefire win. Ever since taking the lead on lap one, getting a bit rough with Kyle Vesagla, it's never looked in doubt. William Duncan off the final corner. He wins the Federated Auto Parts 100 here from Watkins Glen. And Joseph Sprigley is going to make it a Pontiac 1-2 here at Watkins Glen. Mason Ramsey holds on to third. Matty Porta fourth. And Kyle Vesaglia will hold on to for Adkins Racing to round out the top five. Matt Johnson, Felix Jansen, Casey Mears, Dwayne Rockenfeller, and Mitchell Carter will round out the top 10. An absolute dominant showing here for that Hungry Jack 47 team. They'll walk home the winners here from Watkins Glen. Let's take a look through your full finishing results. William Duncan, Joseph Strigley, Mason Ramsey, your top three, then Matty Porter, Kyle Basaglia, your top five, Mac Johnson, Felix Jansen, Casey Mears, Dwayne Rockefeller, and Mike and uh, Michael Carter, your top ten. And then Danny Lorry, Daniel Elliott, Alex Parker, Zach Rogers, Gunnar Matheson, Tristan Wilholt, Luke Evans, Brandon Beal, Adam Mitchell, and uh, Chandler Sanford, your top twenty, then Ricky Freeman Jr., Ryan Reed, Joe Rotkowski, Katie Larson and Brett Sierra, who had that tire failure, round out your full finishing results. 
That's been all from Watkins Glen. I've been Ash Jacobson. Pleasure to have you along with us for the Federated Auto Parts 100 at Watkins Glen. This has been quite the fun race, and we'll catch you next time.